Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Vulcan and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing some top ladder pushing. Currently I'm sitting at 64th global and I'm going to be using this P.E.K.K.A deck. I'm going to be using this version. Um, as you can see, Barbara is in here for Zap and Baby Dragon is kind of in here for um, the Royal Ghost. And since Zap is good at like killing minions and stuff like that, if you take out Zap and put in Bar Barrel, then um, your deck would be really weak to like minions. But so because of that, you just stick in Baby Dragon instead of um, Royal Ghost, and it kind of works out because Bar Barrel is also a ground tank like the Royal Ghost. So the the deck is solid. Um, probably these are both pretty good decks, but I would say that in this meta this version is a little better and if you're struggling versus like um sparky for example you can stick zap in instead of barbarrel i also found that that version works but since i'm probably not going to face sparky in my trophy range i'm going to be using barbarrel so pekka is all about defense before offense you're going to see that i will cycle these three cards in the back of the arena but until i defend or until they drop like a tank in the back i'm usually not going to start spamming the bridge um the, the way you think about this deck is that these are kind of your your cycle cards and then these three cards are kind of your or i guess these four cards are kind of your defensive cards um minions and electro wizard are really important for defending the air troops and your pekka is really important for defending the ground troops now baby dragon is actually a card that you can kind of cycle um you're going to notice that i'll cycle these three cards first and then baby dragon will be my fourth favorite card to cycle and then um, minions, Iwas, and Pekka will be the last card to cycle. And then the only time you cycle a Pekka is, I guess for no reason, is when um, you have an Elixir advantage and you need to break through like a Tornado deck or something. So with that, with that in mind, the idea that we do defense before offense, um, we're mostly only cycling these three cards. We're going to hop into this ladder match and I'll catch you on the other side. Okay, so we're against this guy. Um... I have no idea what deck to use. Um, you know, I'm, I think I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait a little bit. Bandit is probably like Bandit's a really good starting play because um, if you start in the back, there's not really many things any decks can do versus it that would like be good. Cause you don't. It's not a big enough commitment that they could punish the other lane. Okay, interesting. I'll go Bandit opposite lane, um, and I'll use my Bar Barrel to tank for this. What? I'm not sure what this deck is. That's really weird. It could be Royal Hogs. I'm thinking I might have seen a Royal Hogs deck like this. I'm not sure. Um, I'll poison that. Hopefully the Baby Dragon gets... Okay. We're gonna minions and then we're gonna save it for a battle around the opposite lane. Hopefully um, we can punish him because that was a bit of an aggressive play. Um, I went that when he's low on elixir because I was hoping he'd have enough elixir to defend it. Interesting. I swear I knew the interaction. I thought that the um, bandit would actually hit the Electro Wizard before the Electro Wizard hit the bandit. That's kind of weird. I think that because it was maybe aimed in the... I don't know. That's weird. Weird interaction. But we did end up getting more damage in his tower than he got in ours. We'll poison that furnace. Um, I'm going to use my Baby Dragon here. I want to save my Electro Wizard to stun the Royal Giant with my P.E.K.K.A. I want to keep it in the cycle. I guess we'll go E Wiz in the back now. Just to counter his baby dragon. That's interesting. I'm gonna let that E Wiz hit my tower because he's not going for the right tower. So not really a Big deal if it does. Oh, I thought my next turn was Battle Ram, not Bandit. That's not what I meant to do. Yeah, that was 
not at all what I meant to do. Okay, nice. He lightnings. Since he lightnings, we're kind of going to go a little bit aggressive here. Hopefully that doesn't cost me. Gonna split up or push. Cause I don't know if he has anything to counter that bandit. I think we might have won the game. Yeah, we won the game. A couple important notes would be that um when he went with his lightning, I tried to punish him for using that lightning because uh it kind of his lightning didn't really do that much, so I had an elixir advantage, which is why I went peck at the bridge. And even though that didn't get damage on offense, he o then overcommitted with the Royal Giant, which meant that I was able to Take his tower, and also when I realize he had lightning, that means that my vin my minions get a lot more value. If I'm versing a fireball deck, I'm probably not going to use my minions on offense. But when I'm versus um, a lightning deck, since they can't fireball my whole push, I am going to use a lot of minions on offense and try to punish him that way. Okay, so unfortunately my recording just messed up. So even if I wanted to show this loss, um, I couldn't. But also the loss was kind of stupid because he took my tower when I wasn't looking at the screen. Uh, or he didn't take my tower. He got like 1500 damage off my tower when I was like literally about to win. So, yeah, we're just gonna go into another game and pretend like that didn't happen. We got our match. Um, I man, I don't really want to make the first play. None of these are good starting plays. I could cycle minions, I could split my minions if I have to. Um, but I'm just gonna like sit here and wait for a minute. Okay, there we go. Got our troops ready. Oh, I can't even hit that. One hit on our tower, not the worst. Not the best. We're gonna cycle our baby dragon high. Get a battle room down for counter push. I'm playing the battle room early, that way if he has fireball, hopefully he can hit everything with a fireball. Nice, we snuck in our bandit there. A lot, wow, that's that's really good. A lot better than I hoped. Um, I tried to sneak in the bandit there because he didn't have any ground troops to cycle. Okay, we're do gonna do something risky. We're gonna peck on the back. But I don't think it really is a good punish play. And I think, yeah, we were up a couple elixir. Also, I didn't really want to cycle any of my other cards. I think I could have defended if he went, if he went like minor or something in the opposite lane. Okay, we're gonna try and get our baby dragon to the tower, or get poison damage. Okay, that's fine. Does he have Dark Goblin? I feel like... Wait. Yes, please. Okay, we win. Nice. I have no idea why you ignore that. We're literally just gonna... Did he... I think he lagged out. Either he lagged out or he just gave up. I'm gonna take that win, though. I I'm keeping that in the video. I'll speed it up from now. But... um. We definitely outplayed him at the start of the game, so I don't feel bad if he lagged out because we were going to win either way, so GG and... Ooh, we're up against another Royal Giant player. Yeah, nice. Pretty sure this guy... I don't know if he has Guards or Lumberjack. I think if he has Lumberjack, it's actually easier for us because we have P.E.K.K.A. So... I'm not going to... I don't think I want to make the first move. I could play a bandit in the back. I guess that's not a bad play. I don't know though. Honestly, you kind of want to tie versus um, Royal Giant players. And I don't remember if he has band if he has um, 
Lumberjack or if he has guards, because if he has Lumberjack, I probably should go for the win, but if he has guards, um, I, I should probably go for the tie, because kind of a hard matchup. Now, I can win, even if I tie, or even if I go for the tie, like, I can punish him if he overcommits, um, but for the most part, I'm going to be playing pretty passively. We'll just play Bandit in the back. We waited one minute, so it's going to be easier to tie if this match goes south. He has guards. That's not good. That means his match is a lot harder. Play our battle arm in the back. That should kill. Okay, it doesn't. It's not going to kill it because he played that. Hopefully we can punish him for that Royal Giant, because it's a little bit aggressive. Yeah, it looks like we didn't punish him. It's kind of stupid that people can Royal Giant that early and not get punished. I guess he had a surviving... Uh, I always mess that up. I play my poison too late, so I missed the first batch. Play our E Wiz to hopefully kill that. Now we're gonna start start cycling troops opposite lane because I don't want them to get like. Wait, is fireball? Why? Cruel world. And I messed it up. Nice. Come on, get some tower damage, please. I'm gonna deny all hits there. Okay, we can play our E-Wiz in the back. He has fireball. We just need to make sure our E-Wiz doesn't um, die. We're gonna go bandit opposite lane so he doesn't get a ton of value. Since he, um, Tell me we won. It'd be kind of fun to win. Uh, okay, we'll go e in the back. Since he just used Fireball, we're going to try and cycle to another... Dang it. We'll go with this so we can't fireball it. Now he's fireball back in cycle so we can't spam him too hard. Um, hopefully we can trick him into overcommitting with a Royal Giant. Like if he goes Royal Giant right now, that's perfect. Okay, we can just poison that. I'm fine with getting a poison. Why? Oh my gosh. My screen turned off. So the rest of the video... I need to... Okay, I need to change my... Um, I'll explain it after this video. Get it. Oh, sorry. So what happened there is that I recorded my gameplay on my computer. And since... Um, if you don't, like, move your mouse with like for five minutes or something on the computer, then your screen goes black. And since the screen goes black, um, the... 
the recording software goes black, which means that I have to record the, the, the replay to show the rest of the game. Um, but I'm going to change it so that my screen doesn't turn off so quickly and then hopefully that won't happen again. And also that match, as you can see, is a draw. Uh, I, for I forgot to talk so I kind of just threw this in over the live recording. I think at the end of the game there, um, if he had gone with Royal Giant at the bridge, either he would have won or I would have won, but he kind of chose to just make it a tie at the end there by just playing defense for the rest of the game. So, decently well played to him. Um, not not the easiest matchup. I think that that matchup, it really should be a tie if both players play perfectly, and I didn't play perfectly. I made like a couple mistakes, but he also made a couple mistakes, and but it was still a tie, so um, anyway, you look at it, not that bad. Um, we'll go into another match, and this will be the final match of the video, so fingers crossed we get a win. If we get a win, man, I'll be, I'll be pretty happy. Um, if we get a loss, it's going to be unfortunate because we're going to be... Um, actually, we won't, I guess we won't be lower than we started, but man, I want to at least finish top 50 in this video, so we'll try to get a win. Um, starting off here... Let's see, my recording? Yes, I'm recording, sweet. Um... I think I'm just gonna wait a couple seconds. I'll probably go Bart Barrel, but we'll wait. We'll have a Bart Barrel selected, and I think I'm gonna wait till like 20 seconds maybe. Um, don't usually like to make the first move. Okay. Split our minions. We should have a tiny elixir advantage, like half an elixir. Wow. Okay. That's unfortunate. We have literally nothing in hand to counter that. It looks like he's going to be a P.E.K.K.A. player. I could have played my E.W.I.S. there, but... I don't know. I really just didn't want to. Um, hopefully we can kind of punish him now. Let's see if he... We're going to go battle around minions. He might play a P.E.K.K.A. Yeah, I shouldn't have gone battle around minions. That was stupid. We'll play an early baby dragon. Um, bandit. No. Oh, that's just unfortunate. That's so unfortunate. The only thing we can do now is go Pekka on the back. If I lose this, I'm going to have to do another match for this video. We want to pressure the opposite lane anyway. We'll see if we can somehow make a miracle happen here. Come on, miracle, 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 please, miracle. Miracle, 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 miracle. No! Why? Cruel world, why? <sighs> Dude, I cannot end lower than where I started in the video. Honestly, I think this has been a pretty good video. Dang it, I lost the game there because I went... I lost the game because I went Battle Ram Minions opposite lane when I should not have pressured when he played Bandit in the back, so... Oh, that's unfortunate. We almost... We almost got him at the end there with that P.E.K.K.A. in the back, almost... But... Oh, half a second? That's unbelievable, dude. That is just unbelievable. But we can't finish lower than where we started. We have to finish at least even. Like, or actually, I don't want to finish even. I want to finish up. Who am I kidding? We have to finish 
ahead of where we started. So we're going into another match, and then I can finally stop using Pekka on ladder because I've been using Pekka on ladder for, oh my gosh, for like three days straight trying to figure this out. And we are against Pompeo. He has the hardest counter possible to our deck. So if we, I win this, I am the best player in the world. So yeah, we're just gonna um, have our battle room ready. There we go. He always makes the first play. Oh, Pompeo. I know exactly what he's gonna do. And I'm still gonna lose. He always makes the first play on the right side with an air troop in the back. It's so predictable. So we're gonna play Ewiz. He's gonna fireball this if he has fireball and cycle. If not, he won't. Okay, there we go. There's the fireball. What I tell you, easy prediction. Now he's gonna play Ice Golem. Oh, whoa, there's the Ice Golem. What do you know? Wow, I'm so good at this game. Okay, we're gonna play Pekka in the back, because if he goes opposite lane, we have minions. Yay, I love my minions. Now we're gonna save up for an Electro Wizard, so we can hopefully get a nice push. Electro Wizard, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Can we beat Pompeo? Please tell me we beat Pompeo. Please, tell me we beat Pompeo. That would make such a nice video. Battle Ram at the bridge. He should not have gone. Okay, now we need to not lose. Usually Pompeo would not go Minor Balloon. He must have had a bad hand or something because... I was able to punish him since I had minis in cycle. I could go back on the back. Okay. Go bandit at the bridge. Um, we're gonna go peck on the back now since he did that. We should have a little bit of an elixir advantage because he fireballs at that. We're actually going to split lane pressure here. Come on, get to the tower. Okay, we got down one poison. We can just poison cycle him now, hopefully. Come on, come on, come on. We do one more poison. Just have to defend to get one more poison. It's actually gonna be harder than it sounds. Playing a high bandit. Come on, did we win? No, 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 no. Please win, 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 win. Yes! I've lost to Pompeo five times this season already. Five times in a row. We finally got the victory. Let's go. Thank you guys for watching. I'm so happy and fulking out.